<laughs> All right, guys, it's time to buckle up because this is going to be a long one. Get some popcorn, get some drinks, get some beer or something because this is going to be like a movie. This is like, uh, this is going to be like Avengers Endgame, like, because <laughs> I got a lot of shit to show. Let me get this box. I'll be right back. All right. Now you can see, you can see how large this box is. So I'm 6'1". So I guess my wingspan is somewhere around 6'3", something like that. And yeah, I can't even get by my hoe. All right, I can just barely get my fingers to touch the end of the box. And the thickness, you can't really see the thickness, but it's deep. It's very, very deep. If I can get it up a little bit so you can see, this is very deep. Let me see if I can give you an example here. For instance, uh, let's see. It's one of my shoes. So, I wear a size 13 shoe. This is how big the shoe looks on, <laughs> on this box. And then, how small it looks compared to my, it's not really a good, a reference there but it's it's a big ass box so I have 40 I think at least 40 items in this box I'm, they're not all figures but I would say at least oh 98% of this stuff is all some kind of figure I got some statues in here but most of them are posable action figures let me run and get my knife and I'll be right back now there's a chance I might cut this video up into two parts. We can see how long this takes. So, not getting too fancy with the knife here. Let's cut this bad boy open. All of this stuff came from Hobby Link. Came from Hobby Link Japan. So, if any of you follow me on my on uh, this Facebook page, um, you will know that not too long ago, I posted a. I, a, I posted what my private warehouse looked like uh, that I had all the figures that I just had sitting. So this is about 40% of the figures, maybe 45% of the figures so far that um, I got delivered recently. So they do give you a magazine. So I've only ever seen uh, this when I have bought a large or when I've gotten large amounts of shipped. But this is just a magazine displaying like their figures and stuff. I am definitely getting all of these Bring Arts Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth figures for sure. But yeah, still need to go through that. Obviously, that's not what we're here for. We have a ton of packaging. All right. So let's start here. Not quite sure where I want to start. Uh, well, let's see. Some of these things I did not know that they would be so large. Okay, we can start here. So, some of you may know who this is or who this company is. It's Variable Action Heroes. This is actually not the original box that this Luffy, this version of Luffy, came in. Um, so that's interesting. But that is Variable Action Heroes Luffy. Um, so. I collect this line. I don't know if anybody else collect these little girls. So yeah, uh, they're like little robotic and they're like droid girls, and they're like they have swappable parts. I don't really do anything with them. I literally hardly ever open them, but and I've never done a review on them. But they're called uh, Poly Nian or something. I don't know if that's the name of the company or what, but so there's that. Uh, see here uh, this is a thing so this is a this is a figma I'm not sure where, what she's from to be honest with you I'm not quite sure where this character is what this character is where this character is from but I bought it so Ichigo so this is how long he's been sitting here um, I never got it Ichi I never got this Ichigo shipped and so I never got to do a review on him but I love bleach it's unfortunate that they decided to go with the thousand year blood arc version of Ichigo instead of just starting from the beginning. But hopefully they'll double back and 
do some of the older forms of Ichigo, but if you like anime, you should know what Bleach is. I have, some of these characters, I have no clue who they are, to be honest with you. Okay, so I have recently started watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and um, so I started collecting these. I know these are pretty old, and this is Jotaro from, I think, season three, and I'm coming toward the end of season three, but I love it, and so I started collecting these guys here. So I got quite a few of those. Some of them aren't from that season. I have another. This is another one. I haven't gotten here yet, but I'm sure I will. So I got this chick too. Uh, looks like her name is Jolene Cujo. Oh, she's a Cujo. Okay. Um, when I get there, I guess I'll, I'll know who she is then. I don't even know where I'm going to set all these down. Um, let's just keep going with the uh, JoJo thing here. Uh, this is another one from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Looks like her name is Trish Una. Then we got, I want to say this is her stand. The Trish Una chick. I think this is her stand. Again, I don't, I don't know what season this is, but that's her. So I probably do have some more JoJo stuff in here, but I will have to get there. Um, I got these little ducks because I have my sister and um, the captain of my volleyball team play. Uh, uh, they both have a uh, Jeep Wranglers. So this duck thing, there's a thing with ducks with people with Jeep Wranglers. So I bought these for them. Let's see where else. Oh, here's Renji. Here is Renji from Bleach. So I did cop him as well. I got a lot of Figma chicks in here that I don't know of. So I was just I was just buying waifus, I guess. And so here she is. I have no clue where she is from, what anime she's from, if she's from anything at all. Does it say on the box? Pretty Derby Gold Chip. I don't I don't have no idea what, what I don't know what, what this is no clue what this is but she is from that i guess let's see here we got another figma of another waifu and i have no clue who she is either but she is that's her name there so if you know then you know because i don't all right oh this is one I was definitely looking forward to. So this is uh, Apex. I think she's from something called a Kankai Impact 3. Kiana Kaslana, I guess. I have no idea. But this is a big box. This is a nice size box here. I have a lot of glare going on. Um, let me see something. Let me see if I can take care of that. All right, so I'm figuring stuff out on the fly right here. So I'm trying to get so I'll turn the exposure way up on the camera to see if I can get stuff in the frame better and have a clearer look. So yeah, so anyway, this is from a third party company. I'm definitely going to be doing a review of her. Another waifu, uh, 1 8 scale as you can see, but this will be a really good review. So I can't wait to get her out of the box. I need to get out the way anyway, because I need a place to put these figures. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Ah, we have another. This is, oh, this is from, actually, this is from Good Smile Company. I did no wonder it costs so much to ship these things because these boxes are pretty big. They can always compare it to like this SH Figure Arts box. Get the difference. So yeah, these are big boxes, but I don't know where she's from either. So, Ray and Type Wasp. I don't know if she's from an anime. So this is an action figure and a model kit. I assume you put this thing together here. So there is that. So where are we at now? We have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're on 13. So we did 13. All right. Okay, well, this is interesting. I don't even remember her. Oh yeah, I do. Um, yeah, but her head is loose in the box. So this I will also be doing a review on. I don't know who she is, but it was another waifu type figure. Uh, I think she has a silicone butt and legs. I think that's what that's, that's saying there. So this one will get a review. I hope that, that uh, I hope that head goes back on the pig. 
for her, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, here we have from One Piece. We got Draco Mihawk from One Piece. This is also another variable action heroes. So that looks pretty damn good. He is a dope character in the anime. I've always wanted him. So that's him. Let's see what else we got here. Here we have Maid Droid Alice from Guilty Princess, I guess. Another waifu though. So that's her. Oh, I'm running out of space. We got another uh, Polly, Polly Nian. I look, I don't know how to pronounce the goddamn name. But there she is. I don't know. I might. I, don't, I just don't. I just don't know what to do with these things. But I keep. I keep buying them. I don't know if I'm going to do a review on them. I just don't think anybody's interested as, as much as I am. So this is. I already have this Zoro, um, but he he was broken. He did break a uh, peg down in this coke piece, like down here. So I needed a new one. But there is Zoro, another variable action heroes. And again, these new variable action heroes, they seem to be coming in different boxes now. Oh, this one I was super waiting for. So this is a really small box. So this was another waifu with, I think the entire body is silicone. So this will definitely get a review. I don't know if her name is Kraken. Uh, but this is from, who is this? Hasuki, Hasuki, that's, a, that's the company that made it. And I know they are notorious for making like waifu type characters. Ah, here's my first Bring Arts. <laughs> so I got the uh, Cloud. I have seen the review of him and I already know the issues with him, but I, I, I had to have a Cloud. I had to have a freaking Cloud because I don't have one. So I am getting the Play Arts Kai that is about to get re-released. Oof. Here we got the Mafex, Avengers of Infinity War, Iron Man. That's a big box. He comes with a lot of accessories. Jeez Louise. Look at that. Look at that. He comes with a shit ton of accessories. Damn, I don't really connect, collect uh, the, the uh, Marvel movie figures, but some of them I do like. So that's why I grabbed him. Um, we'll save that for later. <laughs> Here we have a 112 scale PA003 Habasashi, Habasasha. I guess that's how you call it, how you pronounce that. But this is pocket art. So I do have both of these. I do have both of these girls. Um, I don't think they both come in this package. No, they don't both come in the package, but they do have cloth goods. Just more little waifus. That's all they use. Uh, we have another JoJo. Uh, we have Lisa Lisa. Yeah. So Lisa Lisa was in the second season, I believe. But yeah, she's dope. She is really dope. So that's cool. I'm glad I got her. But that's another JoJo's figure. Um, so I this that's so this looks like so this looks like it was kind of open. So hopefully everything in there is okay, but um, got the Rebel Tech Woody from Toy Story, obviously. Toy Story. I am collecting all of those. What do we have here? Ah, now here's the first Play Arts Kai. So here we have Zack from uh, Final Fantasy Reunion Crisis Core. So this isn't even the one from Rebirth, but it might as well be because he looks exactly the same. But that's dope. I'm super, super happy I got him. Here we got another Bring Arts. We have Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if this one is Rebirth. That's not quite what he looks like, but I don't, this is clearly like an animated thing. You can tell from the art on the back. I'm not quite sure where this is from or what version of Final Fantasy. I don't know if it was from a movie or something. What? What? There's Barrett. Let's see. Here we have Power from Chainsaw Man. 
so that's dope. Definitely needed a power. So this is the Figma power. So this is the Figma power, not the SH Figure Arts. So this is the Figma power. Uh, we are getting there. I know some of y'all are gonna be a little jealous about this one, but here he is, the long-awaited Revil Tech Agent Venom. <laughs> so I definitely am gonna do a review on this guy. He might be my next review. But yeah, I am super stoked about that dude. And obviously, if I got if I got power from um, from Chainsaw Man, obviously I had to get Dingy. So here is Dingy. This video actually might not be as long as I thought it was gonna be, but here is Dingy. I did pre-order um, uh, the Control Devil chick. I forget her name. Here we have. So this is, uh, from what I understand, this is a new anime uh, about shields and stuff. Uh, this slides out here. So this dude is, I, I can't pronounce that. I don't know I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm not even gonna begin to pronounce it. But here he is and this is the DX version that came with all his shields. And there's a chick, I think that's where the girl was from. I think she was from this too, the, the Figma girl from earlier, maybe. I think she was, I think she's also from this anime. But I do plan on watching this, so that's why I copped it. Because it looked like a pretty solid anime when I when I um, checked it out for a hot second. Uh, we have some more of the Guilty Princess Maid Droid, Maid Droid Kuan. So that's cool. No more wifeys here. So I will be reviewing her as well. And these two, okay, here we go. I might as well pull both, well, they're too big to be pulled out at the same time. But Jesus Christ, this right here, <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait to do take this chick out the box. She is dope. She is so cool. I, there's no English anywhere on this box. Maybe right here, nope. This just says, dangerous, dangerous creatures have appeared where? Have appeared where? Here? <laughs> but yeah, she looks dope. You may have seen her. She's kind of old. She, I think she came out this year, but it's been a minute. But I have her counterpart. Bam. So these two chicks are fire. Absolutely fire. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that effect piece. Look at all them effect pieces. They could easily use that for like Dragon Ball or something or, Mar or, or, or like a Marvel. Look at those um, effect pieces. Look at the ground piece. That's dope. That is dope. And they're hefty too. Oh, okay, we are getting down to the last few. Actually, I don't know why, but I ended up getting the, some more shields, I guess, for the shield guy. I don't know. Sometimes you just be spending money. All right. And here we have the Mayfix. Dark Knight Returns, Batman and Horse. So this just recently came out. And I know, it's just, uh, from what I understand, it's just a static horse. I do realize that. And this box is freaking huge. But I needed this version of Batman um, in my collection for the uh, Dark Knight Returns stuff. Because I do have a setup over there with Dark Knight Returns stuff. So I needed a Batman. I needed a fat Batman. All right. This next, these next couple of items are, uh, let's say, this is a kit. Oh, that's right. Never mind. This is this isn't what I thought it was. But this is just a bottle kit of this chick. Um, so nothing scandalous about this per se. <laughs> but I do do model kits um, occasionally when I have the time. This, on the other hand, thank God they have her covered up. But this is um, a statue. Um, I don't know what she is called. I think this is from some kind of illustration. But to give you an idea of what she looks like with uh, clothes on, obviously you can see the, uh, <laughs> the censored pictures here. Um, I will do my best to try to get a review of this chick. You can see she has different parts. Um, 
So I would try to see if I can get this on YouTube. Um, but that is it. That's it. That is it for this box. Now you can see how gigantic this thing was. It is huge. This is just sitting on my couch. Okay. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and show some other figures that did not come in this box, but have come this week. So I did get the uh, Rebel Tech cable, because I definitely needed a cable in my collection. I got the Yujiro Hanma that had been sitting at BBTS. This will definitely get a review. I got the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Jean Grey. If any of you have ever seen any of my recent reviews, you know that I am collecting all the SH Figure Arts uh, One Piece figures. So here we got Trafalgar Law. <clears throat> here we got the Madeline Pryor figure from Marvel Legends X-Men 97. And then I just got some extra stuff. I got a second uh, Mayfex Carnage. If you can see, I have him attached up there. So I already got one. So uh, sometimes some things I double up on. So I have a second Carnage. And I never got the Cyborg Superman from Return of Superman, but it uh, went on sale on BBTS, super cheap. So I snatched it up and they kind of immediately sold out after that, after it went on sale. So I was able to grab me one. So, oh, and I did kept, did end up getting, which she's out the box right now, but this is the Buzz mod, uh, was it B2, I think, right? Or 2B, yeah, the Buzz mod 2B, or not 2B, that's the question, right? But she is pretty dope, I was, I have been messing around with her. She is getting a review, but I have a lot of stuff to review. So let's try to gather everything together that was just in that box, or just say, let's just say, gather everything together that I plan on reviewing. All right, so here we have everything that I got in that box. Oh, I forgot one more thing. So this is everything that I got in that box. So let's just do a quick recount. There's technically three things in this bag. So that, that bag has the ducks, the two ducks. It has the two ducks in it and a a thing for model kits. So that's three things. I should have 40 things in here. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I think I didn't count this one, so I think that is 40. So yes, 40, uh, Jesus Christ. All right, uh, that is it for that unboxing. That was a haul. And then if we want to count the stuff that didn't come in this box, that's 41, there are 41, 42, 43, oh, 44, 45, two Marvel Legends is 46 and 47 and then the, the the B2 over there is 48 so I have gotten in the past week I've gotten 48 things in <laughs> 48 things uh, sorry if that was really loud in your ear that was a hell of an unboxing I am exhausted I wish I had I wish I had the energy to shoot an actual review uh, anyway that's it for the unboxing. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.